Hi, my name is Scott, N3FJP, and I wanted to give you just a real quick demonstration of how I approach click and pounce contesting. Now, when you can run a frequency, absolutely run a frequency. That's typically your best rates, but I can't always hold the frequency. You may not have the station to be able to do that, or conditions just not might not be at the right time, or you might just want to try to get some multipliers that haven't come along when you're trying to run a frequency. So in that case, I will typically go to the click and pounce mode. First, I'll make sure that my DX spotting settings are correct so I click settings DX spotting go to more filtering I like to set it so I only receive DX that's spotted from stations in my continent the more that's more likely going to allow for stations that I'm going to be able to hear the international DX contest coming up is SSB so I've got that checked and I block contest duplicates meaning once I've logged a station I don't want to see that spot again. That's just going to take time away from spots that I need. And for this contest, we don't need spots in our continent, so I blocked that as well. So we click Done, and we have a fresh log here. Now this is the Monday before the contest. So on contest weekend, our band map will be filled with spots, but right now we have a few to work with, but enough to give you the idea. So I would click on the first spot on the list, and I would hopefully work him and I would go ahead and put him in the log. Then I will right click to clear him from the list and then click on the next spot and hopefully work him as well. Pop him in and we're rolling right along. So I'll clear him. Now I click on the next guy. Let's say he's really got a pileup going and I know that right now I'm going to spend three or four minutes trying to break the pileup. I'll leave that one and go on and work Spain and pop him in the log and clear that and then after a couple minutes I'll go back to the previous guy and maybe he's not so busy by now and pop him in the log. So we'll just keep rolling uh, right through until we clear out. I, I just look at the band map as my checklist of stations to work. If I can't hear the next guy, I'll just right click him to clear him and I'll just keep working down the log. Once I finish up 20, I'll move on to 15 meters, the band map update, so then I'll start and hopefully knock out South Africa, get that multiplier in the log, and uh, as you can see we're starting to fill up our multipliers and moving right along. So that's really all there is to it. Work the guy, right click it to clear, click on the next guy and work him. And that's how I approach click and pounce contesting. I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Scott. My call is N3FJP. Thanks so much for watching. 7-3. God bless.